Sometimes you may use devices that are sensitive to supply voltage ripple and noise. If your application requires a supply voltage rail that is free of ripple and noise, you may want to use a low dropout linear regulator or LDO for this supply. But how well can an LDO remove ripple and noise from an input supply rail? This is related to the LDO power supply ripple rejection. Let's have a closer look at this. PSRR stands for Power Supply Ripple Rejection. The LDO PSRR value quantifies how well an LDO can reject input supply ripple at a certain frequency, to keep the output voltage free of noise and ripple. In RichTech datasheets, PSRR is defined as the ripple attenuation ratio V out over V in, so lower PSRR values are better. The green curve is measured at low load and the blue curve is measured at high load. Generally, at frequencies up to 10 kHz, LDOs have high open loop gain and can reject input supply ripple very well. In this region, loop gain at low loads is higher, so PSRR is better at low loads. When frequency increases, the loop gain reduces due to the bandwidth limit of the LDO, and the PSRR curves rise. Higher LDO load pushes the load pole upwards, so the unity gain frequency at high load is higher. In this example, the LDO unity gain frequency is 300 kHz at light load and 1 MHz at high load, as can be seen from the peaks in the graph. Above the unity gain frequency, the LDO is not able to actively remove ripple. The ripple attenuation at these very high frequencies is mostly caused by the LDO output capacitor and the LDO internal parasitic impedance. Due to the lower impedance of the pass element at higher loads, the high frequency attenuation is normally worse at higher loads. Here is a practical example where a low noise LDO RT9013 needs to provide a clean, ripple free 3 volt supply to a sensitive tuner. The input rail of the LDO is a 3.3 volt system supply, which is generated from a buck converter running at 2.25 MHz. The buck output ripple clearly shows the 2.25 MHz switching frequency component, and from the LDO PSRR curves we can see that the LDO cannot actively reject this frequency. The LDO output will therefore also show some 2.25 MHz signal, which becomes higher when the LDO load is increased. A good solution is to add a small high frequency bead before the LDO. The high frequency bead, together with the LDO ceramic input capacitor, will form a nice 40 dB per decade high frequency filter in the area where the LDO has some limitations. Now the LDO output is free of high frequency components. Lower frequency components like buck converter PSM ripple or voltage variations due to the 3.3 volt system load fluctuations cannot be removed by the high frequency bead. However, they will be effectively removed by the LDO, thereby ensuring a clean and noise free tuner supply in all operating conditions. I hope this video was helpful in giving you some ideas how to make a clean, ripple and noise free supply using an LDO. For more information about RichTech LDOs, please click the link at the left side or visit the RichTech website at www.richtech.com.